presentation okay now now let us talk about a little bit about the gene insulators which can also act as gene silencers now we have seen his methylase uh, to act as or methyl transferase to act as a gene silencer as well as hdac to act as a gene silencing agent but now we are going to see there are some sequences present in the dna which can also act as gene silencer they are called gene insulators okay now this insulator are nothing but a segment of dna that functions as a boundary between two genes for example here so here it is gene a here this one is gene b and in between that we are having a boundary of dna sequence some dna sequences but they, they are not any coding sequence just a sequence these are called insulators okay similarly in this case also now an insulator is so named because it protects or insulates uh, a gene from regulatory effects of the neighboring gene for example say here for example this is a gene a now if the, if the gene a is transcribed so it can produce this enhancer right now so so the, this enhancer will be produced so as a result of that it can go and attach to the insulator region now as it is bind to the insulator region this both the expression of the gene gene a and gene b will happen in independent way they will not occur in the attachment site so suppose it's a very fine concept suppose this is a dna molecule in this molecule we are having say this is a this is this is gene a this is gene b now if these two genes are placed right after one another without being separated by any kind of dna sequences then here says a promoter sequence here says it's the promoter promoter region so it will be rec uh, recruiting the polymerase so polymerase will come and sit and they will transcribe whole gene and what it does it will transcribe both these genes together as well as gene mrna of gene a and mrna of gene b both the, both of them together right so it will make both of the proteins together protein uh, component of a and b together right this is going to be the process but if imagine, imagine if there is an insulator region present in the middle suppose this part is the insulator region now if this part present in this particular case then what will happen and if this region is blocked by a protein sequence so let me take the protein here it is a protein sequence a insulator binding protein if bl it blocks the insulator bind uh, insulator regions by attachment then what will happen after that even if the polymerase sit on to this promoter it will only synthesize this a protein but it cannot synthesize protein uh, cannot synthesize the mrna of gene b because there is a gap using insulator so what insulator can do it will block uh, the dependence of both these genes or linked of linkage of this both these genes together so as a result of the presence of this insulator the gene a will be transcribed on its own and gene b will be transcribed on its own so there will be independent transcription property and that is, uh, that is achieved using this insulators and we are going to see an important effect of this gene insulator to to control or to, to regulate the expression of few genes which must be coming from our father and also expression of few genes which must be coming from our mother right and this process is called genomic